all right guys here we have the redmi note 12 pro and is it worth buying if you're thinking to upgrade from previous note series is it worth upgrading or if you're thinking to buy a new phone is it worth buying let's find out in this video this will be not like a typical review video it's a brief video i'll just tell you the facts if you want to buy it or not then decide it for yourself and i'll also tell you why you should not buy this phone okay so make sure to watch the video till the end here we have the redmi note 12 pro with the beautiful display as well as the design and build quality of this one i really liked how the finish is with the matte kind of finish and you have the subtle gradient color all over the phone and that complements the design overall and in fact the camera module also looks uh, pretty neat uh, when it comes to how they have merged with the design here you have the main camera which is 50 megapixel and you also get the 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and also there is 2 megapixel I'll talk about the camera a little bit later but let's talk about the positive aspects of this uh, phone first of all display so you have the beautiful 6.67 inch super AMOLED display with plenty of brightness so if you want to use it in sunlight daylight easily you can use this phone and even the display quality is very fluid in terms of how it looks the color accuracy the color saturation everything is up to the mark there and even since it's 120 Hertz it's very smooth in how it functions and the software optimization is also really great from Xiaomi and we talk about the call quality it's really great there is no problem with any call quality or even the audio the speakers the stereo speakers that uh, it comes with along with the Dolby Atmos it's really great so all that positive aspects and along with that you have the uh, one of the best battery backup phone at this price range and you also get the 67 watts turbo charger for that extra fast charging so easily you can use this phone for two and a half to three days so we talked about the display we talked about the battery let's talk about the performance now this one comes with mediatek diamond city 1080 processor it's really great on how it performs and the software optimization is actually good and that compels with the processor here uh, while you are gaming or whether you are doing multiple tasks on this phone so there is absolutely no hiccup it's very fast and stutter free so the most important aspect when we consider buying a phone is the camera so how's the picture quality how's the video quality right so it comes with uh, like I said 50 megapixel primary camera it's actually a pixel binning that they do with the 12 megapixel and that's how you come to the 50 megapixel ultra HD resolution and how's the picture quality below average not even average it's below average do not even consider the hype that they have created among the 50 megapixel pixel camera so it's not up to the mark the image process algorithm what they have written is not up to the mark I've seen with other devices like Vivo Realme they have like improved a lot uh, from the previous generations uh, with respect to how the image quality is but Xiaomi sitting still there with not so good image processing so that's what makes me uh, hard to recommend this phone uh, especially with the 12 megapixel you get a little bit good image I would say uh, with the, just the primary just you open the camera and click the photo you are okay with that but when you click on the 50 megapixel it's very very like uh, below average yeah that's the best word I can use here and when it comes to selfie camera which is 16 megapixel I would say the white balance is not up to the mark and even how the portrait renders is not so great and it's not even a wide angle the 16 megapixel camera they could have given a little bit wider and that's not the case it's just the normal camera that you would get with plenty of software features built in to attract the users so if you are considering to upgrade from your previous phone like Redmi Note 10 Redmi Note 11 Pro do not buy this phone do not upgrade just keep that phone you are fine with that there is nothing improvement much improvement you would see with the image quality here and also let's talk about the video here it can shoot up to 4k 30 frames per second and there is also hype about the optical image stabilization that you get with the uh, while you capture the image or be it capturing the video uh, it's working fine so there is no complaint with the optical image stabilization but then when the picture quality itself isn't great what is the use of this optical image stabilization right so that's the thing i wanted to highlight here if Xiaomi improves the image processing I would say this phone would be the best all-rounder but not for now so if you are thinking to buy new phone so should you buy this Redmi Note 12 Pro no don't buy this one if you are uh, thinking to buy it for general purpose like everyday uh, use and not much with the photography and videography sure you can buy that because it has beautiful display great performance and great battery backup but other than that nothing much to boast about here so if you are thinking to buy there are alternate phones like Realme 9 Speed Edition there is Realme 10 Pro out there there is also Vivo V21 and if you shell out a little bit of money you get the Vivo V23 which is worth the price and there is also Samsung A series and M series so make sure to check the description for latest updated pricing and also alternate recommendation and um, yeah I hope it's uh, clear to you if you want to buy this phone or not 
so that's my verdict here what do you think of this phone let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you enjoyed watching this video also like and share this with your friends so that's it in this video i'll see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye